Well, hello, IDS 105 students, and welcome to week four here in the IDS 105 learning community. I am so excited to chat through with you quickly what is due here in week four. But first and foremost, y'all, you have made it to the halfway point of the term. High five, woohoo, way to go. I'm so, so proud of you. This is also a good time of the term that if you have struggled, if you've fallen behind or missed any assignments or want to see if you can do better on some assignments that you submitted, this is a great time to reach out to your instructor and ask. They can always say no, but I want you to be your best advocate for earning your best grade this term here in IDS 105. So if you've fallen behind or want to see if there's something that you can reduce, if you struggled on a topic or an assignment, this is the time to reach out to your instructor and ask those questions. If you have fallen behind, this is a perfect time to get back on track. You can still do this. You got plenty of time and we're just so excited to see you all just really embracing the concepts and the topics that we're talking about here in IDS 105, pushing yourself outside your comfort zone a little bit and learning a lot, not only about yourself, but about others that are in your course. So for week four, as a reminder, all of your assignments are always in your Brightspace classroom that learn.snhu.edu. This week we're focusing in on module four, so you can always find your assignments by module by clicking on course menu learning modules. And when you do that, it pulls up all the different weeks from week one to week eight. For this week, we are week four, module four. So as a reminder, always click the blue, gets you to where you wanna go. It is so important y'all to remember to click through the entire module. Go over the objectives, the module overview, look through, scroll down, click over. Um, also, as a reminder, there is so much content and reading within the module itself to help you understand the topics that you are going to be working with from week to week. Here in week four, it's a lot about communication. So it's really important to make sure you review that module content in addition to your required resources. So as a reminder, you can always find what textbook chapters you should be reading underneath the required resources in your module. Plus there's usually some helpful videos or links to articles or blogs that can help support your success in really understanding the topics that we are covering from week to week. Here in week four, you have a discussion assignment. As a reminder, your initial discussion post is always due by Thursday of the week that it is assigned. And then you want to respond to at least two of your classmates by Sunday of that week. As always, if you're able to work ahead earlier in the week or earlier days as convenient with your schedule, do what works best for you. Just remember, you miss out on points if you do not have that initial post due by Thursday. So this week in the discussion board, you are going to be centering in on the topic of communication. You want to first and foremost discuss a situation where communication is important. And this situation can come from your personal life, your work life, your academic life, like it could be inside or outside the classroom. The biggest thing is just really honing in on an experience or a situation where you're like communication is so important in this situation. Also, if you can't think of anything in your own personal life, work life, or academic life, um, you can always describe a situation from a show that you've watched, a book you've read, or a recent event in the news. That's totally fine, too, if you prefer to do that. The second part of your initial post is to describe your own personal communication style preferences in the situation you described. So think about yourself when you communicate. OK, are you somebody that likes face to face? Do you like text messages or maybe a phone call? Maybe you're a combination or maybe it just depends on the situation. Make sure you explain that and give some details so that your classmates and your instructor can understand where you're coming from. And then the third part of your discussion initial post is what communication strategies would help enhance communication in the situation you described. You're going to be learning about communication strategies here this week. So this is a perfect chance to apply what you are learning in your class to your discussion. As a reminder, initial discussion post is due on Thursday. Peer responses, minimum of two. You can always do more than that, but at least you have to respond to two of your classmates is due by Sunday. Also here in week four, you have another project draft. So as a reminder, you can always find all the information about your project draft by clicking on the guidelines and rubric, and it'll pull up an overview and directions of the assignment. You are using that same template that you have been using since module two. 
So remember back in module two, we picked a scenario that we wanted to focus in on, which is either school, personal, or workplace, right? We picked one of those and we answered the questions on our project draft for module two and module three using that chosen scenario. You're gonna do the same thing here in module four, but just answering the module four question. So as a reminder, you can always find the project template right here under what to submit. Just click on project template and it'll open up the document. Um, but you can also just use the document you've been using all term and just add it the answers underneath the correct section for this week. As a reminder, if you need a refresher about those scenario profiles, click the blue on scenario profiles and it'll bring up kind of the extended version of each one of those scenarios for school, personal and for workplace. So let's take a look at those questions quick. If you click on project template, you guys know it opens up the template. Um, this is my template. When you guys open it, you will not see the highlights, but I wanted to just kind of help you guys see where the questions are for each week because you want to pay attention to making sure you're answering the right questions in the right order. So as a reminder, we've already done part one, which is the questions that you answered in module two. For this week in module four, we are still underneath part two of the template, that intercultural communication and collaboration. Last week in module three, you should have answered question number one and number two. This week for module four, you have three questions to answer underneath part two. You're answering question three, question four, and question five. So you will be thinking of your scenario and any personal or professional or academic experiences you may have had to answer these three questions for this week on your project draft. The first question is to describe how an awareness of other cultures can benefit interpersonal communication with people in the scenario. It's always helpful to give examples and details. So make sure that you are giving those examples and details as you answer these questions. Question four is to describe how exposure to diverse backgrounds can positively influence communication in the scenario that you picked. And question five is explain why an awareness of diversity is beneficial to collaboration in this scenario. As a reminder, write in complete sentences, use examples and give details because you are writing a guidebook. So think about this. If somebody's picking this up and looking through the guidebook and going to the section on intercultural communication and collaboration, based on your scenario and experiences, how can you help guide them through answering these questions? As always, save it, and then you wanna upload it underneath the module four assignment. This is due by Sunday. And as always, if you're able to work ahead earlier in the week, you can always turn it in earlier. I do encourage you to work with the academic support writing services and submit your work to the academic support written feedback team. I'll give you a quick reminder of where you can find that. In your Brightspace classroom, click on academic support. And when you do that, click on written feedback that try it now. Follow the steps. It'll ask you some information, your, your, your name, your email, the scope of the assignment, what you want the reviewer to look for, and then you can upload your um, drafted assignment and they'll give you feedback within 12 hours. So just remember too, if you get stuck or you have questions, this is a great time to reach out to your instructor. Oh, y'all, week four, halfway. We're so proud of you and so excited for you. These next couple of weeks as you kind of move into the second half of your term are going to feel like they move even faster. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. We are excited for you. Happy week four. And remember, you got this.